Okay, you guys know the whole, like, conspiracy theory that, um, that all the Winnie the Pooh characters have mental disorders? Like, you know, Pooh has a fixation problem because he eats too much honey, Piglet has an anxiety problem, uh, Tigger has ADHD, um, Owl is dyslexic, uh, Rabbit has, uh, OCD, and Eeyore obviously has depression. Well, I added that theory myself, that Christopher Robin is a schizophrenic. Because Christopher Robin is the only human character in the classic, like, you know, Disney cartoons of Winnie the Pooh. So maybe, like, and people schizophrenia tend to imagine, imagine things. And, like, maybe so, maybe all these other characters are just figments of, of Chris Robin's imagination. But no. There's clear, sorry about that. There's clearly other human characters in this movie. So Disney just had to ruin that for me. Ugh. <laughs> TVB9, Pinky Hair and Baby Baby, he's TVB9. I'm here today to review the new film Christopher Robin. Well, it's actually been out for a few weeks, but I'm getting around to seeing it now, finally. And it centers around Christopher Robin, the classic human character who always played the Winnie the Pooh and all his and all the other like little animal friends in the big forest, right? Well, Chris Robin has grown up, you know, he's lived through the 20th century, been through World War II, he's gotten a job, he's married, has a, top, has a daughter now, and he's really busy from work. But then one day, he gets a visit from his old friend, Winnie the Pooh, and all his other friends. So that guy go on another, like, fun-filled adventure. So two summers ago was when I first heard they were making a live-action Winnie the Pooh movie, and I was just like, really, Disney? All these live action remakes are doing, but and now you're choosing Winnie the Pooh? Just why? Then I saw the trailer for Chris or Robin. I was like, okay, okay, I actually am not mad about this anymore. This actually looks pretty fun. You know, it's Chris or Robin played by played by Ewan McGregor, and he's you know with Pooh and all the other guys. Going to this movie and just hearing from all the reception and all the advertising campaigns, I was just like, okay, let's just have you know just a simple family fun family friendly film. That's all I asked for it. Did this one succeed in that? Yes, it did. Okay, so Chris and Robin is, you know, very simple-minded, you know, it's a family film. That's what it is. It's good for the parents. It's good for the kids. I I can say I enjoy myself. There were moments that made me laugh. Succeed in that. Because Winnie the Pooh, like, I, I, I wasn't a huge Winnie the Pooh kid, honestly. I was, like, when I was, like, a small child, I was more into, like, SpongeBob and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Pokemon and stuff like that. But Winnie the Pooh is like always one of those things that I always had a lot of respect for when I was little and just watched it and be like, oh, it's Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh. My mom would always tell me that when I was like a toddler, we saw a Winnie the Pooh movie, like when I was in theaters. And I was in my diaper and Eeyore comes on the screen. And apparently, I just run to the big screen like, Eeyore, 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 Eeyore. And like, of, of course, I don't remember that because I was too little. But yeah, baby Vitas. Oh, that was, those are some cute days. Very cute days indeed. <laughs> but yeah, this film, uh, this, you know, the blending between, you know, live action characters and the CGI characters, it worked pretty well. Like, Pooh Bear, Tigger, Eeyore, and Piglet, and Kanga, and Rue all look fantastic. This, like, but I will say one one problem I have with this film, and honestly, this is, honestly, this is really just more of a nitpick, but Rabbit and Owl look like real rabbits and real owls. That just stood out to me, because, like, okay, you made all the other characters look like just puppets and stuffed animals, you know, not realistic. So why make Owl and Rabbit look realistic? I mean, why can't they just be like stuffed, look like stuffed animals too? Why can't they just look like, you know, toy dolls as well? I mean, again, not like a huge problem by any means, but it was just like, I don't know, it, it just stood out to me. Like it's, you know, nitpicks. And again, this film, it succeeded in being the simple family film that I was hoping it to be, but at the same time, you know, there's really not a whole lot to the table offers. It's not like Toy Story or The Lion King, where it's like, oh, there's so much going on here, so much for you to dig in there. No, it's it's Winnie the Pooh. How complex does it need to be? And that is why I enjoy this movie. It's a simple-minded, family-friendly film that harkens back to the days of your childhood, but while having like a modern a modern ish spin, because you know, it's set like it's still set after World War II, because you know, but. It, it, like, it tackles the age-old theme of, you know, like, what happens when you grow up and have to leave all your toys behind for the adult world. And yeah, I thought this film did that greatly with Christopher Robin. So, all in all, guys, I wasn't really disappointed with Christopher Robin. I mean, I know it's been out for a few weeks, but again, I'm just trying to see as many movies as I can before classes start. So, oh gosh, now I'm moving on to the adult world. I gotta leave all my toys behind. I'm sorry, cow, this is for your own good. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, okay. I'm gonna give this film a 7 out of 10 stars. It's a likable film.
I haven't even had, like, I just got this toy cow a few months ago, because it's actually a stress ball, you know, it, you squeeze it, and it, like, it soothes your, your fingers, all right, thank you guys so much for watching, and, uh, yeah, my hall is so empty, because I'm the only one, I'm the only one who did early moving, and, oh, the last few days have been quite an interesting one, I can't wait to see everyone this weekend, all right, peace, guys.